Hello, Steve Fletcher here and welcome to another tuition video. Before we get started, can I please ask you, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like this video, leave me a nice comment, do all of those things that all us YouTubers really do rely on to help spread our businesses throughout the YouTube universe. It literally takes you seconds to do this. Just go on, on that subscribe button. And it, it will pretty much do nothing for you either because you can watch all these videos without subscribing. Of course you can. But what it means for people like me is that more and more people get to see my videos um, which is what we all want, certainly what I want, so that I can uh, make a living out of them. So please do that small thing. If you have already done that, if you've already subscribed to my YouTube channel and the like, please consider going forth and hitting all those social medias that are also available for you. And if you're feeling particularly gregarious at the moment, you can also click that link to buy me a coffee. Um, the transcriptions for this uh, this little venture are all available direct from me on my website. You can find the link for it dun, 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 right there. If it's not right there, it's also down there in the description. So today we are taking a look at the Mark Knopfler brilliant solo song, Sailing to Philadelphia. I'm not going to lie, it's been a bit of a cow. I sort of set myself this challenge of doing this song about two weeks ago, and it's taken me that long to get a decent take under my belt. Um, electric guitar-wise, it's not that fiddly. You know, you've got these lovely... Let me plug my guitar in and you can hear what I'm talking about. I've got these lovely, very soft, very lyrical, very nice, not particularly scary Mark Knopfler-esque lead guitar parts. All of that kind of stuff. No, no, no. The thing that's been a real pain in the bum um, is getting the acoustic guitar part right. It really is a sort of tour de force for the acoustic guitar player. Um, that what we call claw hammer, alternating thumb picking style. That has been a real cow <laughs> to try and get right. Now, I don't know how, um, how far down the rabbit hole you really want yourself to go with sort of playing it exactly right. I do get into some good arguments are on the internet with people who are like, you know, so far down the rabbit hole of, of playing it exactly like Mark Knopfler plays it or any guitarist for that matter, that I just, I, I question whether they can even enjoy playing it anymore because they're so, ugh, so blinkered about playing it exactly right. Um, I've been there myself. I can understand that, you know, I used to be in a Pink Floyd tribute band and we used to spend, you know, a good three quarters of our practice sessions just worrying about are we playing the right inversion of that B minor chord in Comfortably Numb. Um, so I get it. I really do get it. Me personally, I sort of tend to sort of take a little sort of a head and shoulders look down the rabbit hole and then withdraw. Just, just sort of go, okay, I kind of know how it's supposed to sound. I know what Knopfler was doing there, um, but I'm not Mark Knopfler. I'm going to just sort of try and bring my own little personality into it you can sit on whatever side of that fence you really, really want to. So for the, um, you know, soloing and stuff, I think I've pretty much got it bang on. Um, but, you know, the arpeggio, that is a little bit more of an intricate thing. I think I've done it how it is on the studio record. But, you know, I'm sure you can point me in the direction of 3,000 other live performances where it doesn't go exactly like that either and the other thing as well on the acoustic guitar is it has a capo on that um, second fret it makes it an f sharp minor rather than an e minor and i've seen people on youtube do that with that f sharp minor and you think well hang on a minute you're making life too difficult for yourself but anyway there you go so it was a lovely one to do and i think certainly in the uk it's it's pretty much mark Knopfler's biggest solo hit you know, I'm sure he's, you know, in that this stage of his career that he's in, he's not really bothered about hits and stuff, but it did get a lot of radio airplay back in the day when it was uh, when it was released in those early noughties. So there you go. 
So yes, I really hope you enjoy it. Please uh, send me some nice comments. Please let me know what you'd like me to tackle next time. Um, but all being well, boys and girls, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Thank you.